Yeah. Oh, okay. Good day, Tony Fountain oh. from Ray White Mittagong here, and uh, once again I'm back for our three monthly uh, employment information dose with the guru of employment in the Southern Highlands, in Lynn Watson from Highland Recruitment. I've also got today, purely by accident, we wheeled him in, Mr. Noel Ferguson, the Economic Development Officer with the Windsor Caribbean Shire Council. So. We've got the Brains Trust here, I'm just the boy in the middle. <clears throat> so Lenny, the figures that we quoted in the drum last week for unemployment rate, in the Southern Highlands it's 3.59%, for Provincial New South Wales 7.18%, New South Wales 5.99%, and for Australia 6.12%. So what's the drum on all that? So it's, a def it's definitely a good figure and lovely that you report it, thank you. And we are lower than um, lots of other right. areas. However, I don't think that's the whole story. Uh, I get people coming into this office all the time saying their hours are being cut back. So they're not getting the hours they want, and we call this underemployment. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not unemployed, but um, they might be desperate for four days and they're only getting two, or, or they want um, 30 hours a week and they're only getting 16 or something. Right. So th there's a lot, lot of that happening, and there's a lot of women trying to get back into the workforce after a short right. break and that could be looking after children or parents or whatever, and, and they, they can't get back in mm -hmm. often once mm -hmm. they've stepped out for a little while. So I think we're a bit higher than that. Having said that, I mean, if you look around this office, there are folders everywhere, <laughs> and they all represent positions we're working on. Right. So that it is happening. There is yep. employment. It's just that for every position, there's a large number of people that, that want for it, so we job. never have quite enough. And we rarely advertise jobs. We advertise about one in 12 or something really? because yep. there's just a pool of people pool. waiting, to waiting get a job. For, for, for it. But having said that, we all like to be positive. And uh, lovely Noel's here who's mm. looking after economic so, development. So how are we going to fill the pool? Well, lovely's not the word I would use, but anyway. Um, the... Uh, where we are with economic development at the moment is we've been going through a process you may or may not know about, which um, involves getting the community involved with right across the yep. economy. And <clears throat> right now, um, we're in a phase where groups of people from a community are going through and putting together their own plans and ideas and turning them into hopefully pitchable ideas and uh, strategies for sectors across right. the community or across the economy. One of the, uh, the standouts at this stage, um, the feel of it, because it is early days and there's many a slip between cup and lip, but is in the uh, food side of things. And there, um, if we change the way we're doing things, um, the possibility is that instead of making, say, $30,000 or whatever off a 100-acre of block, uh, we could possibly make up to a million dollars. And that's just by changing how we're using the land. Mm -hmm. um, and these things have been tested overseas and there's no reason to believe they can't happen here. Now, if you've got a thousand blocks of land and you've got uh, two people per per uh, hundred acres because it's quite intensive work, um, you've got people making a good living. You've got two thousand new jobs in the agricultural area, um, and there are people who know more about the food chain than I. But uh, they're part of this group that's working on these yep. sort of projects. Um, so you start to look there now. The timing is the issue, of course. Um, right now, there was a conference in uh, in uh, Sydney a, a few weeks ago now. Uh, there they were saying that 40% of the jobs in the economy, about 5 million jobs, mm. are going to be turned over in the next 10 to 20 years. So that means that those jobs don't exist and those skills, that people have got, got the wrong skills or their skills need to be transferred into an area where yep. they can be uh, employed. So part of it is saying, well, these things are going to happen. We've also got the, uh, you know, the impact of uh, you know, wars and pestilence and climate change and all these other things going on at once. Uh, the outlook for Australia is not so good in terms of spending power. I think we're going from number four to four, number four to seventeen. So we may be going into a bit of a dip. But if we're working together and starting to work on what we're really good at, and here we've got lots of land for, for, for uh, food, and we've also got lots of uh, uh, people who are really uh, creative in the art space. We've got people who are, sorry about that. Yeah, You're right. Right. Business, <laughs> business. Oh, you're lucky I'm not in my phone booth. Uh, <laughs> Um, we've also got a lot of people who um, are interested in the outdoors and one of the things in this area is uh, the idea that uh, we've got more species in this area right. 
than the whole of Tasmania. So it's an outdoor wilderness zone and we've got people looking at how we can connect all of the tracks, the bike tracks, and so the tourism side of things, which at the moment is really focused on, you know, more traditional high-end mm -hmm. tourism, could be going into a different phase or adding to that by and looking at um, wilderness and ecotourism and food and accommodation from a different perspective. Right. So there are things happening. I mean, I'm sort of you know, pretty much alone, you know, one arm paper hanger uh, in all of this equation, is, but the ideas are coming from the community. And what our role is, my role is, is, is to try to yep. make sure things don't get in the way. Well, I, I mean, you, you know, I, I just think there's a phenomenal potential here for intensive agriculture, which you and I have spoken mm -hmm. about a lot anyway, and of course that feeds into your role as well with, with more jobs going around and... Uh, I think that that factor of forty percent of those jobs changing is something a lot of people are going to come to grips with. Oh, it's 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 happened before. I mean, it's it, it, the industrial revolution was, yeah, was part of that. And, and, yeah, yeah, we've been through it before. Humanity has anyway. Um, the thing to do though is is really first of all not to panic and to make sure you're bringing everybody yeah. along with you, um, because the future does. It just you know does look good in this region. I think. I mean, I wouldn't be here unless I thought you know and if I thought otherwise. Um, but it's timing and resources. Mm. And the council hasn't got a lot of resources. The state hasn't got a lot of resources. The feds are always in the hot. You know, yep. always, always got a, a problem. Um, so really, a lot of this has got to be done from the community, within the community, by the community, for the community. Yep. Um, so that's how I see it so moving forward. So that way, our folks were all in the boat rowing together. So. Um, and I'll happen. just make a comment to you, that lovely survey in the paper where they surveyed 2,000 people yep. and people in regional areas and small towns are much happier. Oh. So how lucky are we? Wait, that's right. Yes, it, just straight up the hill <laughs> out of all the smog and crap and get in the fresh air and well, we've got wonderful it. people like these here. That's it. It would probably invite everybody with asthma in uh, Sydney to live here because they'd probably have two-thirds of chance of getting That's asthma it. in the hole. There we go. Still. Well, there we are, folks. That's a bit of an update. The surprise here having Noel with us, but we might include him later on as well. Uh, Lily, thank you very much again. Don't forget, Pleasure. there's all the details for Highland recruitment right underneath it there. This is the lady to talk to. Remember, folks, as long as you've got a pulse beat, having a great day. See ya.